Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Ever wonder why we humans are known as the most eminent of created beings? It's because we have the courage and ability to steer all natural forces of the planet Earth into our favor and advantage. But sometimes when our engineering marvels fail against these wild forces, disaster happens, and most of them come with extremely high death tolls and immense property damages. Historically, dams are constructed for many purposes, including reservoir creation, flood prevention, irrigation, and hydroelectric power, and it's considered as an installation containing dangerous water forces, which upon its structural failure can not only inflict a self-destruction, but also a massive impact on the civilian population and adjacent ecosystems. In today's video, we've compiled a list of 10 catastrophic dam failures that were shockingly captured on camera lens. Let's have a look at them. Number 10. Michigan's Edenville Dam in Midland Country, Michigan, a major dam was collapsed in May of 2020 due to massive inflow from heavy rains in the area. A video has emerged that captures the critical moment where the wall of the dam underwent early stages of failure, followed by a small amount of water overtopping the dam. Under the immense pressure of the reservoir water, the crest of the dam got dipped and deformed, creating a depression on the top. The sequence of the events then added a rapid landslide, and a few seconds later you can see the incredible visuals of water quickly gushing downstream. Luckily, there were no fatalities reported, but the flooding caused extensive damage into the Midland and surrounding communities, with an estimated 10,000 residents forced to leave their homes immediately. In the aftermath of Michigan's Edenville Dam disaster, a huge crush of water downstream also triggered a chain reaction that caused another major failure of a neighboring Sanford Dam. Both dams' failures resulted in widespread damage to private property and public infrastructure. Number 9. Saddle Dam D On July 23, 2018, in the midst of monsoon season, sudden breaching of under-constructed Saddle Dam D located in the Mekong Basin, southern Laos, caused a catastrophic flooding that resulted in fatalities and displaced thousands of individuals. Earlier that day, an urgent evacuation notice was issued to the villagers downstream of Saddle Dam D. This notice was to inform the people that they should move to higher elevation land in case of failure of the soon-to-be-completed dam. Officials decided that this notice was necessary because of heavy rainfall causing water to spill over the top of the dam. The dam did not last very long and unleashed about 5 billion cubic meters of water on the villagers lying ahead. This enormous amount of water caused flash flooding in many villages killing at least 20 and displacing more than 6,600 people in the aftermath. The failure of Saddle Dam D had a huge impact on the environment, leaving a large swath of destruction in its wake. On the positive side, this dam has shown the region, along with the world, just how interconnected people and the environment are. Many of the countries in the regions like Singapore, Vietnam and South Korea provided financial and humanitarian aid, indeed an excellent example of the region working together in a time of crisis. Number 8. Bangkwao Dam In response to severe flooding and to ensure electrical power generation, China built the Bangkwao Dam in the Huai River Basin of the Henan Province. It was completed in 1952. However, authorities never imagined the dangers that would follow in less than 23 years after its construction. In 1975, a perfect storm of factors came together to topple Bangkwao Dam with enough force to cause the world's deadliest infrastructure failure ever. Water equivalent to 280,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools burst through the collapsed dam, taking with it entire towns and as many as 230,000 lives. It was estimated that over 11 million people got displaced due to dam calamity. In 2005, 30 years after the collapse, historical records began to open and scholars sought to re-examine the events. In addition to the deadliest typhoon, substandard construction and poor maintenance of the dam sluice gates that are there to control the water flow in the dam were also marked as one of the major causes of Bangkwao's failure. In the wake of the calamity, Chinese authorities took more aggressive stances of performing routine maintenances and retaining the structural integrity of the country's 87,000 reservoirs, which were mostly built with questionable construction standards. Number 7. Lake Dunlap Reservoir Lake Dunlap Dam, located near New Braunfels, Texas, experienced a spillgate failure on May 21, 2019. Have a look at this incredible footage. You can actually pinpoint the exact moment where the middle section of the spillgate breaks apart. The age-old steel structure of this 91-year-old dam is believed to be the primary cause of collapse, which caused a huge quantity of water to be driven downstream. 
As a result, the lake's water level dropped by almost three meters in the following hours. Residents were warned to reduce their water consumption by the officials to ensure continuous supply till the repair. The failure has also triggered severe concerns about the stability of aging dams that are prone to structural failures turning into a potential fiasco. According to the American Society of Civil Engineers, ASCE, 1,263 dams are at high risk existing in Texas, in particular 67 dams that are over 50 years old and are located in Williamson County. The concerned authorities quoted that they're committed in finding ways to replace spill gates at all its aging dams, but noted that this depends on its ability to secure funds for the improvements, which will cost millions of dollars. Number 6. Brumadino Dam Dams are usually designed in such a way that they can hold back a huge quantity of water, but there are some specific purpose dams built to hold sludge of metal waste byproducts. In 2019, Brumadino Waste Dam, located in southeastern Brazil, turned into what may be the largest environmental disaster in Brazil's history. An embankment which is supposed to hold back a vast reservoir of toxic mining byproducts collapsed, following with a discharge of a huge tide of mud flow that advanced downstream and killed over 260 people. When collapsed, the dam was holding more than 423 million cubic feet of material waste and iron ore byproducts from nearby mines. You can see in this remarkable video the waste turned into a huge slurry wave that traveled up to 120 kilometers an hour and burst straight into the nearby shelters as well as countless homes, farms and other buildings. Apparently a mining company named Vale was held responsible for this disaster. The company not only had to deal with the millions of dollars worth of damage to its structure, but also was ordered to pay $107 million in compensation to the workers affected by the deadly dam rupture. Number 5. Niagara Falls Disaster We bring you this incredibly rare footage out of 1954 archives showing the dramatic Niagara Falls collapse. When the first telltale cracks appeared in the rock at the side of Niagara Falls, movie tone cameramen kept a round-the-clock vigil. Their patience was rewarded by the sensational pictures of collapsing a huge section of Prospect Point, sending an estimated 185,000 tons of rock down to the bottom of the falls. Reportedly, it was the worst rock fall here since January 1931, when a huge section of the American Falls also tumbled into the river. The next day, engineers and geologists began conducting surveys to determine whether blasting was going to be necessary in order to stall further rock falls at Niagara Falls although park officials believe that another collapse would occur before any blasting started. On August 16, 1954, engineers detonated the dynamite charge at Prospect Point, which sent 900 tons of loose rock to the base of the Niagara Gorge, ending a chapter in Niagara history. Since then, there hasn't been another rockfall at Prospect Point. Number 4. Oroville Dam The Oroville Dam in Northern California is the tallest dam in the United States, rising 770 feet high. It holds back a reservoir containing 1.1 trillion gallons of water, supplying farms and cities across the state. It's a vital piece of infrastructure. In 2017, heavy rainfall in Northern California damaged the emergency spillways of Oroville's dam, which began carrying water for the first time since the dam's construction in 1968. The dam's emergency spillway severely damaged, a giant hole suddenly opened up in the chute, with concrete crumbling and water overflowing into nearby ground, causing it to erode much faster than the experts expected. Once again, the visuals are striking, but this situation was deemed dangerous enough to serve evacuation orders for an estimated 180,000 people living along the Feather River Basin in Butt, Yuba and Sutter counties. Luckily, the spillway was a separate structure from the dam. Officials stated that there was no danger of the main embankment being breached. Fortunately, the situation had stabilized in the same month by making extensive repairs and aerial drops of sandbags and large rocks in order to protect soil erosion around the dam. Number 3. Vajont Dam The Vajont Reservoir disaster is remembered as one of the worst man-made environmental disasters of all times. Located in the southeastern part of the Dolomite region of the Italian Alps, the Vajont Reservoir was completed in the 1960s. But before the construction activities of the Vajont Dam commenced in 1956, engineers and geologists were warned by the locals about the usual tremors and common landslides in the area. However, authorities largely turned a blind eye to all the warnings and continued to build one of the world's tallest dams at the unstable lands of Monte Toc Mountain. Three years after its commission, on October 9, 1963, the entire slope of Mount Top collapsed, 
and within 30 to 40 seconds estimated 240 to 270 million cubic meters of rock plunged into the Vajont Dam Reservoir. The impact sent a huge wave of water shooting 250 meters above the dam with an estimated volume of about 30 million cubic meters. This enormous wave caused flash flooding in the Piave Valley below the dam and destroyed the villages of Longroni, Pirago, Rivalta, Villanova and Fair. A total of 2,500 lives were lost. The image below shows the location of these villages after the flood. The valley floor on which the villages were located has been wiped clean by the water. Number 2. South Fork Dam Johnstown, Pennsylvania was a thriving community with a strong economy based on the coal and steel industries. The community was essentially wiped out by the historic Johnstown flood of May 31, 1889, along with six other villages in the Connemore River Valley. In late May 1889, a strong storm system produced about 6 to 10 inches of rain within 24 hours, causing the South Fork Dam to fill up to maximum capacity. It was an embankment dam made of clay, boulders and dirt. Initially, this wasn't perceived to be a major issue because the dam had a built-in spillway, but in this case, throughout the years, the spillway had become clogged with trees and other floating debris due to no maintenance. The water level in Lake Connemore finally came to a level where it began overtopping and eroding the dam. The earth and rock structure eventually collapsed, releasing a thunderous wave 40 feet high and half a mile wide downstream. By the time the flood water reached Johnstown, it was no longer water, but rather included much of the debris from the 14-mile-long valley between the South Fork Dam and Johnstown. The catastrophe killed around 2,500 people, and these incredible images from the past showed devastation of the thousands of survivors, once living in the prospering city of Johnstown that now had turned into a virtual wasteland. And number 1. Ituango Dam the Ituango Dam, also referred to as the Pescadero Ituango Dam, is an embankment dam currently under construction on the Cauca River in Colombia. Flooding and landslides are common in Colombia during the rainy seasons, which typically occur in April to May and October to November. In April 2018, landslides near Ituango Dam clogged a tunnel used to divert river water from the project. The blockage of the tunnel started to cause the water level in the dam to rise. Take a look at this incredible footage captured at the precise moment where the main tunnel is bursting out a huge volume of water that caused extensive flooding downstream. In response, authorities decided to evacuate at least 25,000 people and place the entire $5 billion project in jeopardy. Though the emergency works continue to be carried out on the Ituango Dam, locals fear that the structure could collapse amid ongoing rains. Such a collapse could lead to catastrophic flooding downstream along the Cauca River, affecting 12 municipalities across Antioquia, Sucre, Cordoba and Bolivar. However, a threshold was tested multiple times on meter mark to lower the risk of such a disaster. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button, do share and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.